Good evening. How are we doing tonight? It is 10 o'clock on Thursday evening. And uh, it's beautiful out tonight. <clears throat> I'm going to sit on my porch here and have a quick cigarette. And then I'm going to take this into my car because... I feel very weird sitting on my porch vlogging, especially at night when I feel like I'm very loud. <laughs> so, there will be a scenery change <clears throat> in a few minutes, and if need be, I'll turn my car on and turn the interior light on. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see. But I wanted to film something tonight and then hopefully film something tomorrow morning. Um and post one of these for tomorrow and post the other one for Saturday. Um, reason being, if my boyfriend comes into town, I'm not going to be filming. So, Because it would be a cold day in hell before I vlog around him. He would tease me endlessly, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> And if I had any kind of confidence in what I'm doing, it wouldn't bother me. But I have zero confidence in doing any of this. So I couldn't take being teased or whatever by him. <clears throat> so we'll just avoid that situation altogether if it's all the same. <laughs> so I'll smoke this as fast as I can and get into the car where I feel a little less awkward <laughs> exposed mm -mm. so to anybody who may happen to be watching how is your evening going and if you caught my video from this morning did you play anywhere but here with me today I would really love to see that in the comments. I think that would be fun. I would like to see where people, if you could go anywhere, at any given moment, just drop everything and go. You didn't have any responsibilities, nothing like that. And you could go anywhere in the world at any given time. Where would you go? I think that would be neat. If I could go anywhere in the world, at any given time, and I had zero responsibilities, right, didn't have to go to work, if I didn't have kids, where would I go? I have always wanted to go, I'm so simple, I want to go to New Orleans. I want to go to New Orleans so friggin' bad. I want to go and see Mardi Gras. I want to eat my body weight in crawdad and drink my body weight in Bloody Marys. Just saying. <clears throat> I think that would be fantastic. I want to go up and down Bourbon Street. I want to go see the old cemeteries. I love cemeteries. I love them. I think they're beautiful. And the older, the better. When I lived in Georgetown, it's probably about an hour or so away from Toronto, um, my house used to back onto a cemetery. They were very good neighbors. 
never caused a problem. But when my eldest was really little, I used to take him over to the cemetery that our house backed onto. And we would bring a picnic. <laughs> And this was a beautiful cemetery. I mean, it was, it was gorgeous. It was very well kept. It was beautiful. And we would find a shady spot and have a picnic. <laughs> and I can remember once we were sitting there on a blanket, not like in front of any gravestones or anything. Like I'm not sick. But just a shady spot off somewhere. And it was a decent sized cemetery. And uh, we we're just talking, the two of us, you know. I mean, well, I was talking. He was jibber jabbering. He was maybe one years old. And just having a great time, the two of us, right? And, uh,. This lady came up to me and started giving me right and proper shit for, I don't know, being disrespectful or whatever. Like, why? Because I'm living my life? Like, I'm not out here breaking tombstones. I'm not even out here looking at tombstones. Like, we're off in a corner somewhere. Like... <laughs> problem I don't see any problem in showing the dead that you're living and that you're happy and you know the whole point of a cemetery is to go and visit <laughs> I, I don't see the issue not leaving trash around I didn't even leave cigarette butts there in fact I don't even think I smoked in there because I think that's disrespectful you know, you don't leave a mess and whatever. You know, like, we weren't doing anything wrong. The people that work there never had an issue with it. Go visit your family member, your friend, or your husband, or your wife, or whatever, and leave us alone. We used to do that all the time in the summer there. It was, it was really, really beautiful. <clears throat> and let's be let's be quite honest it was quieter than having a picnic in the park and prettier to be frank the park that was by our place in that town wasn't even a sand park it was they well it was at one point and then like in the middle of the night one night they literally came took all the sand out and replaced it with friggin wood chips wood chips in a park makes no sense to me. Sure, you don't get sand brought in the house anymore. Now you gotta dig fucking splinters out of your kid's toes. Like, that's a good time. It's definitely easier than getting the little vacuum out and vacuuming up some goddamn sand. June bugs are out. They're driving me crazy. Okay, we're done with that. We're going to go sit in the car. Bear with me for a second here. You're going to look at my roof for a minute. Sorry. 
<sighs> we'll see how well that works out. I don't know if that's going to stay on or not. Hopefully it doesn't kill my battery. <clears throat> I've never done this before. <laughs> so. <sighs> yeah, I, n I never understood what uh, that lady got so butthurt about. No, what was I saying? Oh, wood chips in the park. Dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then I heard um, the playground um, here, down by the water, where I go and usually vlog at night. Um, I heard that they've changed their... It was wood chips there, too. But somebody was telling me, I think my eldest was telling me, or my brother actually might have been telling me because he takes his son down there, that um, they've actually taken the wood chips out of that park and put this weird, like, semi-bouncy turf shit kind of down. And I thought, okie dokie. So now you're not dragging sand in the house and you're not digging slivers out of their toes. Now they're getting like rug burn. Okay, fine. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. <laughs> you know, the kind of sense that doesn't. <laughs> Ugh, Jesus. Sorry, there's my finger. There we go. I don't I was I'm looking the wrong way. I gotta look over here. Okay. I'll get the hang of this one day. <sighs> yeah, I would love to go to sorry, I'm all over the place. It's it's that time of night. I would love to go to New Orleans and see the old grave. All the grave areas. And, um, they're supposed to have these, like, um, tours and stuff through, like, these old houses where they used to have, like, um, voodoo practitioners or hoodoo practitioners. I know there's a difference between the two, and I can't remember what the difference is. It doesn't matter. And haunted places, like the all the ghosties. I love that stuff. So I think that would be a blast. Um, yeah, I think New Orleans would be a fantastic place. <clears throat> I'm not really one for taking pictures and stuff, but I think um, with all the architecture and stuff that's there, I think it would be a, I think it would be a lot of fun. Where'd those kids go? <laughs> Freaking me out. Getting old, the kids are starting to scare me at night. <laughs> I just don't like the thought of people sneaking up behind me. And it's happened here. I did a video maybe a week ago. It was something like, what did I call that? I think it was like something like fuckery on a Monday night or something. And it was a great vlog, you know, it was just chit-chatting about this, that, and the other thing. I probably snuck a rant in there. <clears throat> and as I was finishing, I was actually just kind of like signing off or whatever. And some random dude cut into my neighbor's backyard over here. And came out in front of my shed and walked down over to my car. And I kind of stuck... I stuck my I stuck my head out of the car. I was like, "What you doing, my dude? <laughs> You're trespassing, bud." And he was like, "Oh, you know, he was trying to avoid the cops and stuff." And here comes those fucking kids again. And uh, yeah, it was really weird. Nothing happened. He fucked off. It was fine, but you know, 
this time of night in this particular part of the neighborhood, all the all the weirdos come out in droves. They come out with friends, and it can be a little nerve wracking. <clears throat> I can remember one night I was standing in my kitchen. Uh, getting ready to come out and have a cigarette. And somebody was knocking on my door. Which is weird because everybody knows not to call or come over after like 9 o'clock. Because my kids are all going to bed, right? So, you know, put my stuff down and I grabbed my phone. And I walked through my mudroom and looking through my door and it's this girl I know her well I know of her um she's a town loony she used to come into my work all the time I have to ask her to leave because she got sticky fingers and uh I said what do you want oh I I need a lighter like no, I don't, I don't have any, I don't, I don't have a lighter. Oh, okay. And she stood there for a minute. I already shut the door. And I'm waiting for her to leave so that I can go out and have my cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with my lighter. And <laughs> she started going like to all the houses looking for a lighter. So now I have to wait. I'm sitting out on my porch. And I have to wait for her to get down the street so that I can light my goddamn cigarette. I didn't want her to come back looking for a light. <laughs> because it's not like she would have like lit her cigarette and leave. And she probably didn't even have a cigarette. So I'd have been like, well, can I get a smoke too? No. I will hand out my cigarettes. You want to smoke, you better make sure you have the money to support your habit because I'm not supporting it for you. <laughs> no. <clears throat> so, you know, she would have bummed a cigarette and tried to bum a cigarette. She wouldn't get one from me. And then it would have been, you know, I, I would never have gotten her off my goddamn porch. So. <sighs> Like I said, I dealt with her many times before. I was like, no, you you need to go. You need to get out of here. You get all kinds of stuff like that on this street. It drives me insane. Mm -mm. So... Tired. The heat makes me so sleepy, but I love it. I love the warmth. I, I've been outside majority of the damn day. My boys were in the house all day. Whatever. Playing their video games. My youngest did his school stuff, but in between it's all video games, right? Excuse me. I should not drink pop when I'm filming. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, pop is nasty. But it's too, well, it's not too late to go get a coffee, but I shouldn't go get a coffee. It's like 20 after 10 or something like that now. And if I go get a coffee, I won't go to bed until I finish it. So. <sighs> There's that. It's actually a good thing I came in here because I forgot that I had my windows down a little bit. To remember to put those up when I am done. <clears throat> my neighbor is so sweet. She is just the cutest thing on the face of the earth. I love her so much. She was out there watering her grass tonight. She's an older lady. She's probably, I don't know, she's probably in her 
late 60s, early 70s. I love her so much. She's just fin freaking I mean, you couldn't, you could not possibly have a better neighbor. Um, but she is Portuguese and her English is very broken. Now, I understand her quite well, but I've also been her neighbor for like 13 years. <laughs> I've become very accustomed to the way she speaks. And I can even understand her sometimes when she goes off in, in, in Portuguese. It's it's weird. Like, you get, kind of get the gist of it after a while. It's interesting. <clears throat> but she was outside tonight, uh, well, earlier this evening, watering her grass, watering her lawn. And she's just got, like, just the front part, right? She's just got a little bit in the... In the front yard and, and like, you know, the boulevard and that's it. Her backyard is like all patio and then it kind of goes in an L shape around the side of the house and then around a little bit the back toward the back of the fence. And uh, that's all um, vegetable garden. And then along the side of the house. Like the back, but the side, if that makes sense, is like um, strawberries and raspberries and things like that. And then in between everything, she's got herbs and some flowers and um, it's, it's beautiful. She does such a good job. And then her front yard, she's got these beautiful rose bushes and little hostas and um, these bushes, I, I don't know what they're called, <sighs> but they're really, she keeps them really little and she keeps them trimmed and they're super cute. You know, so she's out there watering her grass this evening and I pop my head out. <laughs> I said, you're out here working hard tonight. And she says to me, your grass is always so green. My grass is always dead. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Her grass is just as green as mine. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? The only spots that she that that are kind of icky are where we had the city come um, last fall. And started putting in these new fucking TV lines or internet lines or whatever the hell they are. Um, so it's all dug up. And then when they finished doing whatever they were doing, they just kind of came in through dirt down and threw seed on it and friggin' left it. So it looks terrible. And uh, when they came to me, they knocked on my door and wanted me to sign these papers and I guess giving them permission to put the line in. And I said, no, I don't want it. I don't fucking have cable. My internet is just fine. And I haven't had cable for like friggin' nine years. Like we're good. And you know what this chick said to me? Oh my God. She looked me dead in the eye and with her whole chest told me that putting in this fucking cable line would up the value of my home. Yep, she did. Yes, ma'am. And I kind of looked at her for a second. <laughs> and I started laughing at her. And she kind of looked at me and I said, Baby girl. <laughs> Honey, darling, cutie. I might be stupid, but I'm not bloody stupid. <laughs> you go tell somebody else that a fucking cable line is going to up the value of their home. Because that's not going to work on this bitch. <laughs> Take your papers and get the fuck off my property. <laughs> that's signing shit. <laughs> and if you dig on my property... We're going to have a problem. <laughs> Stay on the city side of shit. 
you're fine. I don't give a fuck what you do. But you're not attaching anything to my house. You're not drilling anything on my house. You're not fastening anything to my house. Like, no. <sighs> Jesus. But my neighbor doesn't understand and just probably sign the papers to make them go away. <laughs> so now her shit's all dug up. <laughs> uh, I love her so much. Excuse me. I remember she called me one night, probably six or seven years ago. She called me one night really scared. She thought somebody was in her backyard. And my kids were asleep in bed. So I grabbed my key. I grabbed my phone. And I grabbed one of my son's hockey sticks. <laughs> Locked up my house. Went over to my neighbor's yard. <laughs> With like 9-1 dialed. <laughs> and I went over there ready to kick some ass. Scare my neighbor. Freaking think so. But when I went over there, there was nobody there. But when I put the flashlight on my phone on and I kind of looked around the yard, you could see that somebody had been trampling in the, in the garden, like right in the back. Um... Um, she's got these vines. I think they're grape vines. Um, and flowers along the bottom. You can see it was all kind of disheveled. And I didn't say anything to her because she wanted to scare her. But she had said to me the next morning, got my kids off to school. And, uh, she was outside and she called me over so I came over and uh, she was telling me that the lady that lives directly behind her her boyfriend uh, was saying something to her about the fence um, and I don't know if there was miscommunication because I don't think he's, I, I don't, I, I think, he, I, I don't think that his first language is English. And I don't think his first language was Portuguese. So, um, she was confused and she was scared of him. I guess he, you know, was getting a little loud with her and. You know, she's got a, she's got a bad hip and it wasn't too bad back then. It, it's bad now, but, but I mean, you know, she's a tiny lady. Like I'm taller than her. She's probably four feet tall. Like she's not a big woman and this is a big dude. And I, I used to hear him yelling at his girlfriend all the time. He was a raging dick. And, uh, I said, well, you know, I said, if he comes over here, because he, like, he had actually come, like, over to her place, and, like, came into her backyard and was, like, bowing on her and, and getting all aggressive and stuff. And I said, you know, you've always got your, your phone out here. You should get your butt in the house and, and call the cops. Well, she's afraid to phone the police. Um, she's afraid of the police. Um, and she's embarrassed about her English and she doesn't think that she can communicate well enough, especially under duress, um, to get help. So I said, well, shit, you've got my number. Call me. I'll come over and beat a man. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> come messing with my neighbor. Somebody's going to get hurt a real bad. <laughs> Put up with that crap. 
then she laughed at me and she gave me a hug and she's such a sweet woman. She really is. So I guess, I don't know, a couple days later I was over at my buddy's and uh, we were talking and I was telling him about it and he got right past and he said anything like that happens again, he says, oh, there goes me light. we make that work? No? Hang on a second here. Mm. There we go. Ooh. Can't play the music. YouTube will get mad. Sony or whatever. Anywho. <laughs> yeah, he said, you call me. He says, I'll come handle that shit. <clears throat> He's a big dude. He's like 6'1". <laughs> I was like, oh, we'll both go over. <laughs> teach him this is how we not this is not how we teach how we treat elderly women in this here neighborhood not as long as I live here not today bud it amazes me the way people treat other people they think they can get away with it And she was, she was like, no, please don't do anything, la, la, la. And I was like, well, what are you going to do? Like, live in fear in your own damn house? I don't think so. <clears throat> and you sure shit can't expect her to go out and handle it. Like, come on now. And he said, no, no, no. You know, we've lived next door to each other for a good long while now. You're practically family. I mean, that woman can cook like nobody's business. And when I first moved onto the street that woman brought us food all the damn time I mean, she kept us fed <clears throat> I was pretty broke when I moved down here I'd been carrying the payments for this house and the payments for my townhouse for about a month or two before I actually moved into the house like it was tight and she was just bringing over food left right and center <laughs> so I was like you know what like no Mm -mm. Your family. Uh -uh. I protect my family to the death. I don't care. You get scared like that, you call me. Come over with a phone and a baseball bat. I'll beat them to death and I'll call the cops. It's fine. <laughs> she hugged me so hard. <laughs> Love that woman to pieces. Yeah. It's hard to find good neighbors. It, it, it's hard to find good, real people, you know? So when you find them, you protect them. You treat them good, right? I try to, anyway. <clears throat> Well, I really don't want to kill my battery, and I don't know if leaving this light on too long will kill it or not. So, we don't want to find out. I gotta take my kid to work tomorrow. So, I'm gonna cut this off, and like I said, I'm gonna probably vlog in the morning after I drop my eldest off and get my youngest online. Um, and then I'll probably vlog again in the evening after I take my youngest to his dad's so that I have something to upload for tomorrow and for Saturday in case, uh, 
in case uh in case my boyfriend comes down because in that event I'm not I'm not vlogging but I would still like to upload so that's kind of the tentative plan we'll see how that goes but uh yeah so I'll get off here now and uh I don't know probably watch some CSI or something so whoever happens to be watching I'm sorry that my stories and stuff were all over the place. Um, I try not to vlog this late because I get all kind of befuddled. But I appreciate you watching. <clears throat> and have a good night and be good to yourselves. And we'll talk again later. Thanks. Bye.